Many people are unable to finish their long distance walk or run because of this one thing and that is the formation of blisters on their feet. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to tape your feet so that we can prevent blisters from forming when we go for our long distance walk or runs. I am Margaret Welton. Over the years, I have run thousands of miles. And one of the things that I figured out is to tip my feet when I'm going for those really challenging long distance walks or runs. I'll be using this zinc tape I've got here to demonstrate it. And we will go through the process in preparing your feet for taping and then taping your feet itself. And finally, putting our socks and our trainers back on so that we are ready for our run. To start off with is preparing our feet. We will ensure that our toenails are cut lower. This is to prevent your toenails from digging into your toes when you put your trainers on and when you have run a really long distance. The next thing is to take a piece of towel or a rag and um, wipe your feet down. The reason you do this is to prevent any moisture from still being on your feet when you come to apply the tape. So ensure that your feet is all dry and also in between your toes, you need to make sure they are also very dry. When you're done with wiping your feet down, this is the time to get your tape and then start taping your feet. I wouldn't put a tape measure on this one or a ruler, just gauge by the size of your toes and rip the tape accordingly. Here is the zinc tape that we're going to use. This particular one is called Strapal, Strapal tape. That is what I use and it, it, it doesn't fail me. The idea of this is to wrap it so that it covers most of your toe and especially the problem areas. If you have run or walked many times, you would know which areas of your feet are subject to uh, blisters. Sometimes they are the front edges or the side, and even sometimes they are the heel area. Other times you get it right in the middle of, your, um, of, of the sole of your feet, so you can take that as well. But for me, it really works around my toes and then the side of my foot. So that's where I'll be taping. Without really measuring it, I'll gauge how much I need per toe. And then I would rip it. And then cover the toe. If the tape is too big, I'll just make sure that I rip a bit of it so that it does not cover the whole of my toe. And this is actually to prevent the constriction of your toes later on in the race, because in the race or in your walk, your feet are going to expand. And when they expand, you don't want the tape to then start tightening your toes and then causing it to pulsate in your shoes. That is so uncomfortable and it could even cause more harm than good. So ensure you leave space in between the edges of the tape. Now, I'll just carry on with the rest of my toes and we'll move on to the next stage. So now that this particular foot is taped up with my, on my toes, I will just show you what I have done. The main thing I have done is to prevent my toes from touching each other and that is what causes friction and it is this friction that will later cause um, the blister formation. I have separated my skin from touching each other over here and I'll do the same for the edges of my feet where I know normally would have blisters. When it comes to overlapping, Put the first tape on and then just go a few centimeters over the um, first tape with the second tape 
so that they are nicely overlapped. Once I have finished taping my feet, I just make sure that the tape is clean around the edges and it's all stuck around the edges. After taping your feet, you are good to put on your socks. But since you are still here with me, I'm going to share with you one very, very important trick that I use and honestly, it is amazing. When you try it, I'm sure you will testify that it changes this whole game and that is using powder. Yes, people would put powder in their socks. Do not do that. Do not put powder in your socks, but do it this way. This bit can get very messy and in order to prevent the grounds where you are having your race or your competition from being covered in powder, I would just get um, a piece of cloth or even your towel and then just spread it out so that it catches all the dirt once you are done. Some people would put powder in your hands and then rub it together and then rub it on your foot. That is okay. However, there is even a better way to do it. And I use a plastic bag, right? So get your plastic bag and then pour some powder in here. Like so. Obviously be mindful of wasted. You don't want to waste this powder. And just put your feet in and use the bag to rub it around your toes and the rest of your feet. This is honestly a game changer when it comes to managing your feet for your ultra or your long distance walk or run. Now that is done, my hands are fairly clean and you shake off any rest. You don't want the, um, the powder stuck on your feet. And then even now you can feel that the stickiness of the tape, it's all gone. It's actually very clean. So there's even less probability of your tape sticking together in the first place, let alone sticking to other areas of your skin that you have not already taped. So as you can see, making sure that the edges are all sealed off, it's very, very important in this case. Now that we've finished with our feet taping and powdering, we are ready to put our socks on, get our trainers or our boot on, and then get going, right? All the best in your walk or in your race. I hope you come again, and if you have found this very valuable, please leave a like or even a comment, and um, I'll get back to you if it's a question. The links to items I have talked about will be in the description box below, so make sure you check it before you exit. See you soon. Bye. video about what type of socks to use for your long distance running.